using motivational interviewing to talk about COVID-19 vaccination in pregnancy. This video provides a brief overview of how to use motivational interviewing as an approach to discussing COVID-19 vaccination with patients presenting for obstetric care. In the United States, the majority of pregnant people remain unvaccinated, despite pregnancy being an independent risk factor for severe COVID-19 infection and clear evidence of safety of vaccination during pregnancy. As of September 2021, only 31% of pregnant people have been completely vaccinated prior to or during pregnancy. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, and the CDC recommend COVID-19 vaccination in pregnancy and while breastfeeding. There's a lot of misinformation circulating regarding the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine, so we want to be clear that there is no increased reactogenicity to the vaccine among pregnant individuals compared to non-pregnant peers, no increased risk of miscarriage, stillbirth, congenital anomalies, growth restriction, or prematurity. By contrast, patients who contract COVID-19 while pregnant have an increased risk for maternal and neonatal morbidity and mortality, including preeclampsia, ICU admissions, and preterm delivery. New evidence indicates an increased risk of stillbirth, specifically with the Delta variant. It has been demonstrated that maternal antibodies can be passed to the fetus, suggesting that COVID-19 vaccination may be protective not only to pregnant individuals, but also to their fetuses. In this video, we will discuss how to use motivational interviewing as a tool to address vaccine hesitancy in patients presenting for prenatal care. Motivational interviewing is an evidence-based approach to elicit change to a specific behavior. The CDC published five techniques to guide healthcare professionals in discussing the COVID-19 vaccine with patients. These techniques include active listening, using patient-centered communication techniques, empathetically responding to questions and concerns, giving a strong recommendation, closing the conversation, ensuring the patient knows you are open to talk again if desired. Now, I'm going to talk about these steps and go over examples of how to use these approaches during a routine prenatal visit. Active listening. We start a conversation about COVID-19 vaccination by actively listening to the patient. We want to create a safe space where the patient feels empowered to make their own choice. Ms. Larea, congratulations on your pregnancy. How are you feeling? Okay, I've been a little bit tired. So I noticed in your chart that you have not received the COVID-19 vaccine yet. How do you feel about it? Uh, I don't think the COVID-19 vaccine is for me. Here, the natural inclination is to tell the patient that they do need the vaccine. This can make patients feel defensive and shut down. In this instance, it is essential to take a little time to learn more about Ms. Larea's thoughts. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, Other phrases you might consider using include, how likely are you to get the COVID-19 vaccine? And, what are your thoughts about the COVID-19 vaccine? Patient-centered communication. Patient-centered communication uses open-ended questions, affirmations, and summarizing to foster collaborative discussion and reflection. Well, I've heard it can cause miscarriages. So I understand your concerns, and we want to protect you and your baby as well. But unfortunately, during pregnancy, you're at a severe risk um, for getting a really bad COVID infection. And you're doing a really great job by washing your hands and social distancing. But the best way to protect yourself from COVID is by getting vaccinated. And I know it can be a little scary getting a new vaccine, um, but there's no evidence that suggests that the vaccine can cause miscarriages. It is important to both acknowledge the patient's concerns and also show support. In this instance, the patient asked a question that opened up an opportunity to educate. Some other phrases that can be useful to foster a good discussion include, can you tell me more about your concerns? And what in particular makes you hesitant to get the vaccine? empathetically respond to questions and concerns. Try to affirm patients' concerns while giving evidence-based responses to their questions. Be clear about the risks, but focus on the benefits. Use reflective listening when discussing patient concerns. Okay, um, but I have heard that it can cause birth defects. There are medications that can cause birth defects and the COVID-19 vaccine, neck vaccine is not one of them. Um, but we do know getting infected by COVID in pregnancy can cause some bad outcomes for your baby, um, like early delivery. Um, I know you're saying that the vaccine doesn't cause miscarriages or birth defects, but the vaccine was developed so quickly, like how do we really know? So the vaccine was developed uh, rather quickly, and that's because of the pandemic that continues to go on. 
but you can feel better that the vaccine has been held to the same standards as other vaccines have been in the past. And our the CDC and the OBGYN societies that uh, we follow uh, recommend that you actually get, not just you, but all women get vaccinated from the COVID-19 virus. So one other thing we know is that there's evidence that once you get the vaccine, your body produces antibodies that's transferred over to your baby. Um, and these antibodies will protect the baby once it's born, which is awesome. That is interesting. But what about side effects for me? Could I get COVID from getting the vaccine? The vaccine can cause some side effects like fever and sore arms, um, but that's because the vaccine is teaching your body how to fight the infection. Um, the CDC and the OBGYN societies recommend that all pregnant women get vaccinated, and there's no risk of you getting COVID from the actual vaccine itself. Give a strong recommendation. After discussing a patient's concerns, we conclude with a strong, clear recommendation to receive the vaccine. So, Ms. Lorea, I really recommend that you get the COVID-19 vaccine. It's the best way to protect you and your baby. Okay, I'll think about it. Close the conversation, ensuring the patient knows you are open to talk again if desired. Vaccination rates among all women are lowest in Hispanic and non-Hispanic Black women, 11.9% and 6% respectively. Some populations have a justified, inherent distrust of the medical community due to historical injustices and systemic racism. Unfortunately, this distrust is one of the many reasons for disparities in vaccination rates in the United States. It may require more time and discussion for people in these communities to feel confident about receiving the vaccine. If a patient presents with these concerns, it's vital to first validate their feelings, empathetically address their concerns, and be open to continuing the conversation. Please continue to discuss COVID vaccination during your prenatal visits with unvaccinated obstetric patients. It could be life-saving. <laughs>